What's up guys, Crazy VR here. Today I'm bringing you guys more Quantum Break. This is episode 10 and we're in Act uh, 4, Part 3. Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait, because I wasn't alone. Okay, subject, the countermeasure. It's finished, it's finally finished. Tests are all positive. I have officially constructed a working countermeasure for a fracture in time. I can't prove it, obviously, There's since there's no fracture to deploy it against, but I believe it will work. It has passed every test I can conceive. There's no reason I can see it that, that it wouldn't. Given your knowledge of the future, I'm guessing you already knew this would be the date I completed my work. This day has been a long time coming. I was beginning to doubt it was possible. I haven't heard from you in almost two years. Please tell me you are still out there. Uh, read the countermeasure. I'm now going to ask you how to do, to do something that will sound counterintuitive. Leave the workshop, leave the countermeasure behind, and do not return until tomorrow morning. As with all of my orders, it is best that I don't go into further detail. I know better than... Okay, leaving the workshop now. The countermeasure is secured in my safe. I know better than to ask for the reasoning behind this request. In 11 years, you've never been wrong. And I don't want to know about this fu the future anyway. But that won't make this easier for me to digest. Can we meet tomorrow? Now that the device is complete, I need to know what the next steps are. And please be careful with the countermeasure. It's tremendously powerful and sourcing the chronon particles for it alone has taken over a decade. Rebuilding would take me years and years. Hey, Bobby Radford coming at you on the 4th of July. And what a fine day it is, too. Things are looking up for Riverport. Uh, don't believe me? Just look at that shiny new Monarch building going up. That's a big deal. So let me get this intel here. What the? Turn it back. Dr. Emeril sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one. Sounds like Sophia Bush.
He set William's machine to 1999. The first possible exit point. Don't shoot! Okay, don't hey, shoot! Don't shoot! It's okay! Hey, it's okay! Ah. It's okay! I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilder. You're the reason you built the countermeasure. And you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. We don't have much time. Damn. Oops, I didn't get that. She had changed. And there was a weight in her eyes. She was hiding something. She always was. What exactly do you believe changed in Back in time. Here we go. Lost hope. Holy shit. Okay, this is long again. Whew. Here I am, back in time. We're back in a time I've already lived once before. No idea how long I'll need to stay here. No idea what comes next. This isn't how it was supposed to go. This wasn't the plan. If I'm going to come to terms with the, that, then I'm going to need to write it all down. There's nobody to tell this to but myself, so hello me again. This all started back in 2016. Jack and I kidnapped Dr. Amaral. We were supposed to use the time machine to travel back to 2010 and retrieve the countermeasure. I believe Dr. Amaral switched the date at the last moment. I heard Jack calling out, but it was too late. I was already inside. There was nothing to do but keep moving forward. And then, and when I exited the corridor, I arrived in the one place I never thought possible, the end of time. My greatest fear was realized. I'm still trying to grasp what that means. My entire life has been devoted to stopping the fracture. What I saw was a proof that it couldn't be stopped. I can't believe that there's a logic. I can't believe that there's a logic to all of this, a meaning. I just haven't found it yet. I'm not ready to write down the details of the end of time, not yet. The essential part of the story is that I found a way to back. I spent a long time trying to fix William's machine, but somebody's beat me to it. He said, of course, to the earliest time the machine could operate, the first time the core was activated, February 28, 1999. I followed him through. That's when I found William, still alive, much younger than I had ever seen him. I warned him about the fracture. I told him that he was the only one who could create a solution. He begged me not to tell him anything else but the fu about the future. He said he couldn't stand living like that, being constantly aware of what was will come to pass. His every action, just his every action, just part of the preordained dan dance. I wanted to tell him more, but I knew I know how he felt. William agreed to do what must be done. He agreed to build the countermeasure. This whole time, it was it was me who set him on that path. He says the machine doesn't have the sufficient cronin capacity to return me to the future. He says a jump that far would be nearly impossible without a substantial scientific breakthrough. Apparently that hasn't happened yet. That's his way of saying I'm trapped in 1999, second time around. So here I am, July 19th, 1999. The time machine move equals success. I worked with Will to get the time machine moved. Had to make sure Serene wouldn't be able to use it to his advantage. So we moved it to the one place I knew it would be safe. Bradbury Swimming Pool. Will spent a big chunk of his research grant buying the property. It's the one place I know for sure that Monarch won't find it, us. After all, they still weren't aware of it in 2016. That means this is my new home for the time being. Will refuses to build the countermeasure here. He says it ha that has to be done at his workshop. He chose that location to build the time machine for a reason. Something's about abnormal chromic Cronin capacity, Cronin density, anomalies, whatever, didn't seem to concern him. That the very people we need to hide from know about his workshop. Probably doesn't help that he won't t let me tell him who those people actually are. Guy's almost as stubborn as his brother. Sorry about that. Now that the move is complete and Will is on his way, all I can do is wait. Not liking the idea of that, keeping 
Keeping busy was the only thing that distracted me from the eerie nature of being trapped here. Guess I should look at the bright side. Second chance of having a killer Y2K party. September 5th, 1999. Little May. The most surreal experience. Her eyes looked so full of life, looking to the clouds, invulnerable to the world around her. She looked full of life. She looked happy. It was me. I knew the day was coming. I knew that I had to go see her and let, set her on a, her mission so that she would do what needed to be done, so that someday she would become, well, me. She was in the backyard, bright red duffel coat, playing. Simple pleasures. It's strange. I remember the small details so differently the first time around. When I was a child, that woman who came to see me seemed like an angel, a limitless source of wisdom, getting me with purpose. Now I, I was the, that woman, trembling, a lump in my stomach, nervous as hell. It didn't matter. I knew she was too young to see those things on my face. I gave her the notebook. I told a small child to give up those simple pleasures to pursue a life that would bring nothing but pain and hardship. I promised her that it would all be worth it, that she would make a difference, that she would save the world. She believed me. January 1st, 2000. Epic Y2K party. Ate bagels with cream cheese and watched, up, watched Buffy reruns in a drained swimming pool. Party on. September 11, 2001, 9-11. I tried to stop it a second time. I warned them, told them exactly what was going to happen. Nothing changed. I came to terms with the fact that none of this could be changed as a child. But since then, I've seen things that make me desperate to prove myself wrong, desperate to believe that what I, I've seen cannot uh, come to pass. I tried to stop the rise of Monarch. I tried to stop Paul Serene, both versions of him. Every action was negotiate, or negated by the force of a timeline that cannot be bent or broken. I've tried to stop tragedy as well. Jack's parents, Christmas of 1999. I knew what happened to them. This time I was there. Car crashed exactly as it was supposed to. My presence only let it to happen as it always did. I went to the funeral. I watched Jack cry. I watched Will build up a wall around himself. I watched two brothers change forever in that moment, and I could do nothing about it. And now, and now this, F. May 22nd, 2002, Monarch. They spotted me near Williams' workshop, barely got out of there alive. After all this time, Serene is still obsessed with finding me. He won't give up until he does. Have to be more careful in the future. May 22nd, 2003, the end of time. Been having recurring nightmares about what I saw. I've been dreading doing this, but it's time. I have to write it out. It's the only way to move past it. In 2016, I entered the time machine, intending to travel back to 2010. That didn't happen. Dr. Amaral changed the date. When I exited the machine, I arrived at the end of time. The fracture had run its course. Time had stopped altogether. The entire world was frozen in one hanging moment. I was the only one still able to function, or so I thought. Then the shifters came. I can still hear them. Their sounds echo through my dreams. The entire world was still, still, except me. They really don't, don't like movement. I'd step out of the machine into the one thing I spent my entire life trying to prevent. The fracture was never fixed. I was living through the proof. The first hours were the hardest. I was living through a nightmare that I couldn't wake up from, surrounded by constant reminders that my mission would fail, never able to stay in one place because the shifters were always searching, always hunting. I wasn't alone. I discovered the first evidence of this a few days in. I heard the shifters become agitated, but I was nowhere to, near them. They were following somebody else. Paul Serene, a younger Paul. Scared, weak, vulnerable. He found me, tried to convince me that we needed to work together to help each other through. He found out very quickly that I wanted him dead. He had no training, no killer instinct, but he had those damn powers, and all I had was this, the Cronin harness. harness. The end of the world, the only two people left, and we became sworn enemies. I can't be sure how long we spent there. It could have been months, could have been years. When time doesn't move, it feels like an eternity. Our grip on reality slipped away, trapped in an endless loop of brutal survival. Though we were enemies, there was a strange bond, formulated through the suffer that suffering. We shared an experience that no other human has ever endured. Eventually, Paul managed to get William's time machine working. He was convinced that he needed to travel back to the earliest possible point in order to stop this all from happening. He had yet to learn that the past couldn't be changed. I followed him through the machine, but he escaped. 
He formed one arc. He built an empire. I watched the birth of a monster. I can't escape the feeling that my actions helped shape what he became. Maybe I could have guided him. Maybe if I hadn't tried to hunt him down and kill him at the end of time. That can't be my part in all of this. There has to be more. I wake up in a cold sweat most nights. I hear the shifters coming. I can almost feel their presence. Much of my experience at the end of time has become a blur in my memory. But there is one detail that I can't shake. One detail that brings my entire mission into question. One detail that haunts me. 2021. February 3rd, 2005. Hobbies. Five years until the countermeasure will be complete, I spend most of my days training. I don't know what happens once the device is finished, but we, being prepared is my specialty. I still wonder if Jack will follow the plan, if he'll emerge from that machine in 2010. Best not to think about it. I'm not giving up, but I can't let these thoughts consume me. I need to focus on the present, focus on what is in front of me. That's the mantra that keeps me going. Just focus on the present. So I decided to take on some hobbies. Tried poetry, got depressed. Dabbled with a guitar for a while, smashed it against the wall. Then I started experimenting with graffiti. Seems to be working out okay for me so far. It's fulfilling on a few different levels. Partly as a form of self-expression. Partly as a means of release. Partly just to F with, with people. What happens when Joe analyzes some graffiti on a wall one day, builds an interpretation in his head, and then three years later, his depiction of that image comes true? Not sure, but it's fun to think about. I can't change anything, but at least this gives me the illusion of some kind of power. That illusion is what keeps me holding on. Sometimes I leave anonymous notes in people's mailboxes telling them what will happen, what will happen next week. I watch the reactions from afar, voyeurism and graffiti. That's my life, my life these days. Focus on the present. October 8th, 2007. Jack. I started watching him recently. I know Monarch is tracking him, so I keep my distance. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure why I felt a need to follow him, to watch his life from the outside, but now I think I understand. I met Jack in the wake of his brother's death, the onset of the fracture. Worst day of both of our lives. He was broken. He was broken. That's the only Jack I ever knew. There's some kind of comfort in seeing him in happier times. I watched his band play a gig nearby. Atrociously band. Whiny emo music. Definitely a music movement. I didn't I didn't need to live through a second time. But there was something pure about seeing him up there, letting it all out. He never had an easy life. It was nice to see that he found a way to release all that. He just looked happy. It made me forget everything else. These, the nightmares have stopped for a while, or the nightmares stopped for a while after that, so I kept following him. It gave me something else to focus on. I've spent my life, most of my life, hiding who I am, what I know. I knew Jack for less than 24 hours, but he's the only person I've opened up to about everything. I told him the truth. He believed me. I wish I could thank him for that. I'm not sure what I'm going to tell him if he comes through that machine on July 4th, 2010. What will he think when he sees me? Eleven years will have passed. I look like I've aged three times, three lifetimes since then. And for him, it could only be a matter of minutes. What do I say? That's that I saw the end. That this might all be for nothing. I was the one who believed without question that we would stop the fracture. That confidence has now been replaced with insecurity, weakness. I fear letting him see that. I fear that he'll see the doubt in my eyes. For years, I felt invincible, full of hope. I'm not that woman anymore. I'm scared. December 11th, 2007. Memory. Tonight, I painted something at the university campus. It was the only. It was only after I finished and took a, a step back to look at it that I realized I've seen it before, about a decade ago. Remains of something painted on a wall, but washed away. It was a jolt. Is all of this futile? nothing sticks nothing has changed all but washed away by the river of time f and time travel july 9th 2008 will i've been in contact with will every six months or so short exchanges just to get an update on his progress building the countermeasure he's still at least two years from com away from completion but he's now more confident that he knows how the countermeasure will work he told me that the countermeasure will be able to reverse a fracture in time 
but in order to do so, it must be activated early in the escalation of the fracture. Once the fracture runs its course, once the end of time is reached, he believes the countermeasure will be rendered ineffective. I asked him what it would mean if the end of time ever occurred. He said it would mean that the fracture was never stopped. It would mean that we failed. July 21st, 2000, everything that I have, I have done has been for nothing. July 4th, 2014, or 2010, thank God, this is the final entry. The day is here. Soon I will <coughs> receive word that William has completed the countermeasure. I'm sure of it. I've come to accept that this doesn't mean we will succeed. I've come to accept that my mission was a lie, but I'm not, going, not giving up. Lie or not, I devoted my life to this cause. It gave me meaning. It's all I've kn ever known. Even if I've seen the proof that I would, wouldn't, won't succeed, I'm not giving up. I will dedicate every ounce of courage I have left to seeing this through. I'll retrieve the countermeasure. I'll keep it safe until 2016. I will do everything in my power to activate it when t the time comes. I will fail, but I will fail knowing that I did everything I, in my power to save the world. For years, I hoped that this would be the day when I would see Jack again. I'd give, I've given up that hope. This mission started with me alone. That's how it will end. This will be my final entry. Thank the Lord Jesus, my throat hurts. Eleven years. I'll unlock the door. So where's Will? Where's the countermeasure? The countermeasure's at William's workshop. Where he built it. Then, that's where we go. Uh, yes. That was the plan. I just have to unlock this. You did all this? Oh. Yeah. We should go see Beth. My supplies are upstairs. We'll need to get them. There's so much you don't know that you never saw. I... I gave up on the idea that she would ever come. I need to know we're still in this together. I told you once our fate is already laid out for us. I still believe that. More than ever. I'm just worried what that might mean. It means we finish this. Okay. The countermeasures at will. You need gear? Take whatever you need. Oh. The rest of it's going in the river. Okay, this isn't that bad. Along with everything else I brought here. March 1999. This is the rise of Monarch. March 1999. Monarch formed. Jack. CEO never disclosed. Have to Lucrative investments all based on Serene's future knowledge. Let me know when you're ready to go. August 2000. Monarch spotted you following William's in 1999. Release. Monarch was following William's. Why did he travel so far back? No longer safe Before to Monarch. keep in direct communication. Careful with Two, May 2001. Martin Hatch you kept tabs on him. First listing of Martin Hatch He's on employee chart. On no me. details available on Hatch prior to this. May 2002, Monarch Patrolling Workshop. Monarch spotted me near, near Will's workshop. Barely escaped alive. Must have wood workshop area. August 2003, Monarch on Fortune 500. Well positioned on Fortune 500. Investments have stopped. PR campaign has begun. February 2005, spotted by Monarch. Monarch Ready still searching are, for me. Must stay out of public eye from this point forward. March 2006, R&D facility commission, Gull Island, must investigate further. October 2006, Martin Hatch promoted. Martin Hatch is now designated as Monarch spokesperson. Previous spokesperson at every promotion Hatch received results from a trail of blood. Monarch, to May 2008, Monarch Tower construction. Construction of the tower begins. December 2009, Mar Monarch investigates Will's workshop. Monarch personnel spotted covertly entering Will's workshop. They may know what we're up to. Monarch security cameras now surround workshop. Approaching area will alert Serene. 
Mar March 2010, Monarch Cronin Tech delayed. Monarch Cronin Tech research under Dr. Kim not proceeding as planned. Not enough Cronin particles available. Ground zero not present. December 2010, Dr. Sophia Amaral recruited, hired as Cronin research scientist. Okay. Can't imagine what happened to you. When you entered that machine, I wanted to go after you, but I didn't know where Sophia sent you or how to find you. You made it here. It's all that matters. You followed the plan. Whatever happened to you, change it. Don't. We can fix this. Don't. We can undo this. Oh, you still don't get it. <laughs> it can't be changed. No matter what we do, the pieces fall in all of the exact same places. I've tried. Over and over. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to let go. Jack. You have to let go. I've seen it. The end of time. That is where she sent me. I was there. I've been fighting this fight my entire life, and I saw us fail. I saw where this leads. I just don't know anymore. I don't know if we can win this thing. Bye. Then we'll die finding out. All right. Here we go. Next part. This is going to be a long episode because of that long ass journal. Hopefully this part's not too long. I don't know a fraction of the hell that Beth went through. What she experienced when she saw the end of time, how that changed her, like it changed Paul. Followed by 11 years of living like a ghost. Beth I'd known had laser focus. This Beth. She had doubts. You okay? Yeah. But the countermeasure, the one thing that could set things right was waiting for us at Will's workshop. In 2010, Monarch didn't own the area yet. That came shortly after because of what happened with you. But we knew William was building something new in his workshop, and we knew it must be important. We were monitoring the place. Yeah, Beth knew about your presence. She'd done spying on her own. We came over the rooftops to avoid detection. Does Will know we're coming? No, he doesn't. From this point on, we may be in their sights. We need to be quick. Hey, Will? He's not here. I made sure of that. What? Why? He's the only one that knows how to use the countermeasure. Which is why he needs to be kept safe. In case... things go bad. Fine. We get the device, then you leave me, my friend. Sure. Now, where do we find this thing? Will said he secured it inside a safe. Somewhere in the building. All right, Will. Where'd you hide that safe? It's April 2nd. 
1999. It's been about a month since the incident. Will's journal. Since I was shot by the man from the, the countermeasure is near completion. I should be celebrating. It's wild I should be excited. Eleven years of work is coming to an end. But there's a weight on my mind. I can't shake it off. I wish I could Jack came to see me. He found out that I sold our parents' house to continue funding my I research. Understandably, he was furious. After all, after all, the house was left to both of us. He doesn't understand the necessity of what I'm doing here. Um, talk, talking turned to yelling. Yelling turned to pushing. He told me it wasn't mine to sell. He told me they weren't. They were his parents too. He told me that I was a piece of shit. I was angry. I couldn't contain myself. And then I said it. I still don't believe the words came out of my mouth. I told him that it was his fault, the car crash. I told him that he was to blame for everything we'd been through. I knew it was the one thing that could truly hurt him, and I used it. I can justify my actions as a result of months of fatigue, frustration, lack of sleep. It was wrong. I knew it was it as soon as I said it. He just stood there devastated for what felt like minutes. I could see a wall building between us. He told me he was leaving this town. He's never coming back. That was three days ago. I haven't been able to reach him since. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I can't concentrate. I know the countermeasure will be finished soon, but that victory is a hollow one now. I've spent 11 years yeah. building a device to save to find this world. The only thing that, keep, that kept me going all this time was the fact that there was one person in this world that I needed to protect, no matter what the cost. I just lost him. That's the I was planning on giving it to you. There's some things you need to do. This is the only way I can play. You're the only one who can stop it. There's no thing. It was all there on the board. The details of his downward spiral. His work consumed him. Became some kind of Jack desperate obsession. On birthday. He was never June the second, same. Don't forget, don't forget what? Thanksgiving, remember, pay electricity, get electricity, turn back on. Jack's birthday is June 2nd. Buy groceries, give Beth update on status, erase this, June 2nd. Apologize to Jack again. GMDR, what does this note mean? Buy whiteboard yeah, eraser. Meet with bank for loan. Maybe shower first. Shower. My will is too scatterbrained to remember a key. The device wasn't there. Is, but it must have been at one time. Place imaginable. The power setup wasn't working. But it must have worked at some point. Maybe I can rewind time to get this working. Shit, shit. Locked out again. again. Where was the failsafe switch? switch? Follow the wire. Which one was it? Was it? Blue? Blue? Or was that the emergency shutdown? Oh, shit. I knew I should have labeled the wiring. And open sesame. Emergency shutdown initiated. Shit, shit, ass. ass. Fucking, Fucking god, god damn, it. damn it. Yellow wire, I knew it. it. I built a I built goddamn a time machine, machine, but I can't remember to keep a piece of shit door unlocked. You saw something. Shit, shit. Locked out again. again. Where was the Will was looking for the same thing we are. Follow the wire. Uh, Which one was it? Blue? 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 Or was that the emergency shutdown? Shut down? Oh, shit. shit. Well, I knew I should have labeled the wiring. Emergency shutdown initiated. Shit, 
Damn time machine, but I can't remember to keep a piece of shit door unlocked. What the hell am I supposed to do? You'd been there before. Witnessed flashes through time. I assume pieces of that puzzle had come together since. And some are yet to come. I'm so confused. I'm really, really, really confused as to what I'm supposed to do. Shit, shit. Locked out again. again. Where was the failsafe switch? Follow the wire. Which one was it? Was it? Blue? Blue? Or was that the emergency ship? Oh shit. I knew I should have labeled the wiring. 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 And open sessions. Emergency shutdown initiated. Better open the okay, it did. Thank God. Come take a look at this. He didn't leave the code, but I can crack it. I just need some time to. Somebody's here. It's Monarch. I knew it. I knew they'd find us. I'll take care of it. Just get that safe open. Stay inside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get to shoot people. You'd been spotted the moment you arrived. You never had a chance. You were on a suicide mission. Yeah. I wasn't gonna lie down and just give up without a fight. Not then. Not ever. This is Trojan 1, approaching workshop perimeter. Over. Remember. Stop right there! Where's the girl? Hey, 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 hold on. Take it easy. He's got a gun! Open fire! Yeah! What the fuck was that?
Alright, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Comment, subscribe, comment, and subscribe to the description below. As always, guys, have a crazy drive. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you. We can survive this together. You know it can't be stopped. I can see it in your eyes. You know this. What if you're wrong? failed. We created Ground Zero. Caused everything to happen how it always did. Every piece falling into place. Except one. The blast sent you through time. Brought you back to 2016. The same exact time from which you left. Something anchored you there. We need to know how you did this. You think I wanted to come back? I was pulled away. Everything I came for was still back there. Left behind. Move. 
Beth, get up. Beth, come on, get up. Please, Beth. Beth, you need to move, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Get the gun. Come on, come on, come on, Beth, move. Come on, please, please. Beth, move! Paul, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't! I'm not wrong. You can't. No! no. I'm still recording so you guys can see the end of the cutscene, by the way. I know I didn't stop it. Zareen had the countermeasure the whole time. I had to get it back. A rash decision. You claim Beth Wilder's death had no impact on your behavior, but... Like I said, I barely knew her. So, what you did next? It wasn't personal, 